Hello, it's Naomi Charles, and you're welcome to Happy Boss TV, the happening place for entrepreneurs, for content creators, and for online ads. So, how to build your brand. You know, becoming an entrepreneur is an exciting thing and sometimes can also be daunting because you're producing a product and you're constantly asking yourself, how am I going to make this brand really strong and have a space and a place in the market and compete with my competitors? So today we are going to be talking about five effective ways that you can grow your brand and make it stronger. One thing you have to know is to find out who are going to buy your product because it can be really discouraging when you produce a product and no one is buying your product. So first of all, you need to carry out a market research and out if your business is a viable business, see if your product is going to have buyers. Who are these buyers? What age bracket are you aiming to sell to? Where they are and uh, how you can locate to these ones the educational level of your target audience so you need to know the demography of your target audience but just having that uh, basic knowledge about who are going to be your customers is not enough these days you need to know your buyer persona buyer persona are a semi-fictional representation of your ideal customers this one is going to go more detail to tell you more about your target audience their interest what motivates them what is their goal where do they hang out online and so many other little details kind of knowing your audience personally that can really tell you what they need and how you can provide that need for them for example if you are selling weave on or weaves certainly you are selling to women and these women could be from 20 to 40 years old and among these women some of them might like a very long hair some might like a very short hair and so you are able to know which of your audience uh, prefer the long hair and which one prefer the short hair and one thing that can help you to find out this information is to carry out a research you can interview them if you have some customers already you can either ask them what exactly do they want that you can provide for them and apart from that when you post things online you can be able to tell which of your audience prefer the long hair or a short hair through their likes, their views, their comments, and their shares. So once you are able to know, okay, this particular audience, maybe 10% prefer short hair, then you always talk about short hair to this person. So you promote uh, products about short hair to this person. And the same for the other one. Having a clear understanding of your target audience is very, very important. It helps you to position your product very well to your target audience. Once you have known who your target audience are, the next thing you should ask yourself is, why am I even coming out with this product? What value am I going to give to these people? This time, people don't just buy products, they buy solutions to their problems. So you need to focus on the value that you're bringing. Is there a particular product that is similar to yours in the market? What is it that is making people to go for that product? Look for that product. What value can you add to that product? product if there's a gap in the market are you coming to add to the gap no your aim your goal should be to come and close that gap so that you can have a market because if you're producing a product that is similar and the same value to the market nobody will even bother to to look at your product or maybe few persons will bother to say okay let me just buy this. But when your own have something really different, something uh, unique, they are going to benefit from it. The promises that you're making to them and they see that yes, your product is really giving them that solution, then you're going to have a market for your product. Another thing that you should be thinking about after knowing the value that you're bringing to the market is to know who your competitors are. There are going to be other uh, products that are going to compete with you in the market. So what do you do? Are you going to just jump in without even knowing who you're going to be competing with? That will not be a good idea. You need to know who are your direct 
competitors and who are your indirect competitors. Your direct competitors are competitors that are selling the same product just like your products. And then your indirect competitors are companies and uh, publishers who don't sell the same product but they produce content that is related to your product so what do you do in terms of your direct competitors you need to find out who they are where they are what is the value that they are giving to people that are making people to buy your product and you also need to find out what is their strength and their weakness so that you can look for their weakness and improve on your own product to compete with their product and you can also go to the internet it's a very good place where you can find out about your competitors you can use tools like similar web similar web can tell you so much about your competitors just enter their url um, uh, similar web search bar and you are going to see your global ranking your country rank your category rank and uh, you're also going to see the traffic overview you're going to see the total visit they have the engagement they have also see how much traffic they have in your country Go further you see where the traffic is coming from top referring sites destination sites there are traffics that are coming from social media you can see facebook is very is the highest that they are coming because they are into uh, mostly retail uh, sales b to to see customers come down you are going to see other uh, competitors that are competing with Lumia. we have gg there is amazon there is aliexpress there is ebay and so on and so for so it is very important that you do all of this it is going to help you a lot to really position your products in the market and as for the indirect competitors you can also check your website and use keyword research tools like google keyword planner can give you a very good detail about the keywords that they are using but you can also use improve on this keyword make a research use keywords that are not highly competitive that you know can really bring your products to be in front of your buyers so that they will not claim your buyers that you have been struggling to keep number four communicate your brand very important this is where your content marketing comes in now you've been able to know who you're selling to the value you're bringing which is a unique value you're able to know now your competitors and how to compete with your competitor to do some inbound marketing to promote your product you can have blogs to you know talk about your products engage with your audience you can use social media to also engage with your audience produce content that resonates with your audience avoid the mistakes of being everywhere you're on facebook you're on twitter you are on instagram you're sending your you know customers everywhere as you're trying to produce content on all of these platforms it can make you to bring out content that are not really valuable i have maximum of two social media platforms it could be youtube it could be your blog where you are going to be bringing out a long form of content detailed content that can benefit your audience and then another uh, shorter form like instagram or twitter where you can be bringing out short forms of, uh, of content that are still very valuable content evokes emotion that will make your uh, buyers to always stick to your products and even share it so when when you are sharing content it should also be a shareable content so that uh, very interesting that your buyers will want to even not just to like it but will also share it and as they are sharing this content it is going more to even people who are not yet your buyers to see your product and then also attract them to buy from you if you do that it's help to hone your brand you also want to use the same font same same color your logo your slogan 
should you know cut across all of these places where you are going to be putting out content and it's also very very uh, important that you are consistent when you're bringing out this content and then lastly is everything that we've been talking about you just have to do checks always monitor always measure your performance in the market both online and offline how is your product doing how is your customers doing how is your competitors doing are they coming out with strategy that is going to hide your product always do your analysis always go to check your insight find out how well your product is doing in the market building a brand is not a one-off thing you have to constantly continually planning and strategizing to keep your products on top of the mind of your customer and to always retain the space or even go higher than what it is right now so that is all my tips i hope it was helpful so if this was helpful to you please click on that like button so that i will know that you like it and also show my channel some love by clicking on that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so that you will not miss another video that i am going to be putting out so until we see you again stay blessed stay safe see you in my next video bye for now love you